Hi, uh, my name is Brian McGuinness, I'm a plant pathologist at Jagged Gastown Research Centre. And this plant here is called Prunus, Prunus laurisaracis or cherry laurel. Uh, this particular variety is rotundifolia, uh, which is uh, which you'll often see growing in hedgerows around Ireland and if left uh, to its own devices it can grow up to about 15 metres in height. Now I'm involved in a project called New Leaves, which uh, is surveying crops for the cut foliage industry, uh, which are generally varieties Etna uh, and Kokoska and Novita as well. Uh, and I'm surveying them for uh, shot hole disease um, because we're not entirely sure uh, what causes the shot hole in Ireland. There's a variety of things that we know can cause shot hole, such as Pseudomonas syringae, Xanthomonas arboricola, and also some fungal issues such as Stigmina eupropylella and uh, Colletotricum. So the work that I'm involved in um, involves going out and surveying cut foliage crops. Um, Prunus itself is a native of the Balkans and the Caspian region. Um, its bright green uh, foliage is very attractive for the cut foliage industry which is a, uh, a growing sector in horticulture for the um, export market um, to specialist uh, bouquet companies in the UK and Holland uh, who in turn supply the major supermarkets and other retail uh, outlets. Uh, it suffers from a number of other pests and diseases such as the common green capsid, caterpillars um, from the carnation tortrix, the citrus red mite, vine weevil is also an issue as well as uh, powdery and downy mildew. Um, as well as the fungal problems that I've mentioned. So this video is basically showing you how we uh, survey the uh, cut foliage crops uh, for disease. Thanks for listening. So each plant is assessed randomly by choosing three branches on the plant again at random and assessing the disease level on each of the harvestable portions of the leaf. So for this instance, I've chosen this branch. So we assess the number of spots on the leaf by doing a quick count. Number of spots are recorded and converted into a percentage of a branch affected. We repeat that for three branches on each plant. And then we progress in a W pattern across the field, choosing again plants at random. And from that, we can actually assess the disease level across the whole field. So for this field, we've chosen 20 plants, uh, again in a W shape. And that gives us an idea of the disease level. At the same time, we're taking samples of branches which will be returned back to the laboratory and the number of spots for each uh, branch will be uh, assessed for presence of pathogens. Uh, in this case it looks like it's a bacterial pathogen um, but we'll also so we'll uh, isolate onto a nutrient agar or uh, king's bee agar um, for pseudomonas syringae and then also nutrient agar for uh, xanthomonas presence of xanthomonas if possible um, once we have bacteria growing on the place um, we identify it by its morphology but also by its um, um, its DNA using a, a PCR with specific primers for the pathogens that we're interested in, so Pseudomonas syringae and Xanthomonas arboricola brunei. And this is quite a nice site. Um, it's in Listowel. And there's a lot of new growth because of the good weather we've been having. And most of the growth is actually quite clean. Uh, there are some patches of disease about the place, but for the most part it's actually a very good field. It's quite sheltered and um, it's got good tree cover all around the sides surrounding it. 
and there's no sign of any fungal disease on these particular leaves. It seems to be mostly a bacterial spotting, but we'll find out more in the laboratory.